Guys, have you ever heard about sundubu? This in Korean is called dubu, or soft tofu, and I'm going to use it to make a hemul sundubu jjigae. And if we have leftovers, I'm gonna make an appetizer. First, let's prepare the seafood. Shrimp, mussels, and squid. Wash the shrimp in salt water and remove the insides by sticking a toothpick in the shrimp's back. Wash the squid and peel it. To peel the squid, you have to make small cuts on the edges of the body, then pull the skin up. After peeling, make diagonal cuts in the squid to cut into bite-sized pieces. Wash the mussels in salt water. Now the vegetables. Chop the onions, leeks, and green and red pepper and cut the zucchini into half moon slices. Now I am going to dice the garlic. This small ingredient is actually very important to get the flavor you want. Okay, I think we are done here, so let's make our jjigae or stew. Pour the water and... Okay! And then let's boil the whole thing for a few minutes. When they are boiled, add the sundubu and onions. Now I'm going to use leftover to make appetizers. Cut the tofu into 3-4 cm pieces, making sure it doesn't crumble. Dice the king oyster mushrooms, onions and black olives. Stir fry it together with the garlic. Let's make the sauce, olive oil, soy sauce, sesame oil, vinegar, stir it all together and we are done. Pour the diced vegetables and sauce on top of the tofu. Et voilà, c'est terminé. We are done with our black olive sundubu. Now back to our stew. Add the final touch with leek, zucchini, and green and red peppers. Season it with diced garlic, salt, and pepper. Ta da! Our seafood sundubu jjigae is done. Chewy seafood and soft tofu. Perfect combination.